Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm super excited, as always, you know, makeup. Gotta love it. So I'm going to be doing a Ulta haul. I want a little ham at Ulta. Um, I just love newness, you know, trying new things, trying new products. So this is a what's new at Ulta slash Ulta haul. I mean, what's new at Ulta pretty much as a haul, so I mean, whatever. Um, also, if you like what I'm wearing on my eyes, I did a review of the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Thirsty Palette, so go check that out. I will link that below, but let's get into this. So, purchased way too much at Ulta, but I love Ulta for the sole fact, no, actually a couple, a couple facts. One thing I really don't like about Ulta is you really can't get samples. Sephora is great about that. I will give them that, but... Alta, you can use your points for money. Like, I'm sorry, Sephora, but deluxe sample point perk, what? Like, no thank you. I would rather redeem for cash so I can get more of what I actually want. Thank you very much. And you, more times than not, get free product with your purchase. Like, Too Faced, spend $30 on Too Faced. Get a free deluxe size of Too Faced mascara. There's your Sephora point perk. Like, Definitely an Ulta girl. Your points add up super fast, especially if you reach platinum. They just came out with a new diamond status. They now have a credit card too where you can earn points like twice as fast. So I love Sephora so much, but I'm a true bargain shopper at heart. So I think I think it's Ulta for me. But anyways, let's let's really get into this. So the first thing I picked up are these Sugar Bear hair vitamins. You guys, these taste so good. Like a fruit roll up like I want to eat all of these <laughs> but you can you're only supposed to have one a day and I've only been taking them for two days so I can't say I've noticed a difference in my hair quite yet but uh I'll get back to you on that but super tasty and I've heard really good things so love it next I purchased the Morphe lo-fi sculpt and shimmer I love that Ulta has Morphe now because uh, with all the affiliate discount codes, you're only getting 10, 15% occasionally. And with Ulta, you're getting 20% and you get credit for it with your points. So it's a win-win situation right there. So you definitely take advantage of it when their coupons come out. So I purchased the, like I said, the Morphe Lo-Fi. I've heard so many good things about this. So many people have been talking about this. So I'm super excited to use this. Why am I holding the shimmer on here? Let's get rid of that. Okay, let me just swatch some of these highlighter, like Supernova, almost looks like a pinky, golden, oh my gosh, this enemy shade, I thought it just said Emmy, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's meant to be, but it's enemy, yes, enemy, so, um, I usually do my makeup in the car, <laughs> to be honest, for work, so this is gonna be great, because it's just highlight and bronzer, all in one palette, so, and I think it was like $20, $25, so, plus 25% off, so, basket. There that was. There is a swatchy poo right there. Okay, that swatches suck. I suck at swatches. Like, please forgive me. <sighs> okay, another thing I was super excited. Okay, I know I got four. Yes. You guys, Dose of Colors came out with single shadows. And when I saw the swatches, <sighs> I about died inside. Like, they looked so freaking beautiful oh my gosh i have so much like left on my hand or need to get it off but, oh. i'm so excited for these i picked up four of them um now of course you can get them on dose of colors but again alta points discount yeah i'm going with alta so oh my gosh these are hard to open like how cute is the packaging though like can you tell yes you can tell that's like rainbow holographic speaking to my heart this one is in the shade Double Take. Um, I have a lot of glitter like on my hand from swatching a previous palette, so excuse me. They do feel a little gritty. But there is Double Take right there. They're super pigmented, I will say. Like one swipe. And apparently you can use them wet or dry too to intensify the color. So that's awesome. Oh my gosh, I needed like a separate bag to put all these freaking boxes in. These are hard to get open. This next one I got was Caffeine Queen. 
This one feels a little bit more buttery. Okay, these look exactly the same, so that's cool. But super pigmented. I was really excited, yeah, this one. The blue one, like, spoke to me. Like, teal me more. Oh, hello. Oh, like this. Wait till you see this color. Like, this just needs a moment of its own. Like, if I can get them open. Why do I struggle with opening products? Like, oh my god. Like, in this light, it literally looks like a royal purple. But then you turn it and it's straight teal. Like, this is beautiful. It is so stinking pretty. So buttery. Like, fuck. Oh, would you not? Oh my god, you guys. That's beautiful. And that one doesn't actually have a lot of glitter. The Hold on, let me swatch the last one. Oh my gosh. This last one I got is Sizzle. So, I was expecting these to be a lot more glittery. The teal one, I'm definitely impressed with, but the red, the two browns look exactly the same. And they have like white glitter. Like, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's not silver glitter. Like, it's like white craft glitter. Like, I'm not, I don't know, like the color is pretty, but I wanted like something super glittery, super intense to put on my eye. So, a little disappointed with that. But I love the blue. Next, I picked up um, this Patrick Star kit. Um, from MAC so it comes with an eyeshadow or an eyeshadow quad this bronzer which you know looks like a pretty bronzer the packaging honestly feels super cheap like I'm kind of disappointed about that I think this was like 50 bucks though but I've never really tried a lot of MAC products so I thought this was a good deal because it came with two lip glosses um, an eyeshadow quad and then a bronzer so I was like this is a good chance for me to try some MAC product so it comes with these two lip glosses right here let me actually put this one on that would be pretty over over top right it goes with my look yeah it's just like a nude brown they smell good too they smell like vanilla so I've always heard these are the lip glasses too so I've always heard these are really sticky I don't think so though like they feel pretty pretty buttery I mean so it comes with this this and and this is the eyeshadow quad that it comes with so you get all four of these products so for 50 bucks I think that's honestly a really good deal Okay, next thing I picked up was the Sancho Prey um, Self Tan Purity Natural Glow Skin Mist. So, and I don't know if you can see, let's see if you can tell here. Oh yeah, you can see where the water, this is how it came. Like that's literally where it's filled up. I remember seeing um, 11th Gorgeous, that is another channel here on YouTube. I remember watching, they, they picked it up from Ulta too, I want to say, and they had that same issue. Like, it's like they didn't fill it, like. And I think this was like 32 bucks or something like that too. So like I want all my products. So I'm kind of disappointed about that. I did try this on my face earlier. It smells really good. But I love the um, Lux Tan, I want to say. Oh my gosh. Um, spray water. That one's really nice. Um, and I can use that all over my body. This one is just for face. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, let's see oh next thing I picked up was the Anastasia dream glow kit now I swatched this in store oh, I just love this packaging though like it's so pretty like these shades 
And I love, I love these highlighters. Like the formula when I swatched them in store, it felt a lot like the Nicole Guerrero palette. And that's like some of my favorite, that's one of my favorite formulas that Anastasia has come out with for the glow kits. Oh gosh. But like, that's so pretty. Okay, again, I suck at swatches. I'm so sorry. But I'm super excited for this because you can use these as eyeshadows or highlights, whatever. So, you know what? Why not? Let's like test them out right now. Let's. I wish these came with a mirror right here though. Like that's the only thing. But I loved. Wish is like this gold pink with like purple glitters. Like. Okay. Yeah, you can like see that. Like, look how blinding that is. Oh, that's so pretty. Mm. Yes, please. Okay, so next, what I picked up was, so at the time that my coupon came out for 20% off, NYX was also doing buy one, get one free. So I picked up four of their butter glosses. These are some of my absolute favorite formula for glosses. I have them in almost every color, but these are newer colors that I didn't even know that they came out with. So I was like, oh, I picked, I um, picked these up. I got the shade Peach Crisp, um, Sunday Mimosa, Vanilla Cream Pie, and Strawberry Cheesecake. I feel like those names sound familiar and I feel like they've been out longer. I could be wrong. I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm just not with it. I don't know. But I love this formula. They're super affordable glosses and they're really glossy and buttery, hence the name Butter Gloss. So I just picked those up because they're really nice glosses and they're super affordable. The next thing I got was this Feel the Moment Skin Rejuvenating Hydrating Primer Serum from It Cosmetics. So this is a primer. I love their collagen infused um this is one of my all-time favorite primers from it it's the number 50 collagen serum veil i love this so i wanted to try this one out it says it was more hydrating my skin has been super dry lately so i thought this might be nice to try out oh ugh. damn it this came open like it's all greasy Ooh, i don't know if i like this if it's gonna be greasy i don't know I don't know. Um, it is nice though. It does come with a pump. So you have the option, or I'm sorry, like a squeezy. You can pump or use the squeezy thing. So gives you options. All right. Next two things I picked up were two different foundations. I got the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD High Definition and the Flower Light Illusion Luminous Makeup. So I picked these two up to try something new drugstore. I don't have a lot of drugstore foundations. My skin is sensitive. The Maybelline Dewy and Smooth and the Poreless Finish, I wanna say. Those are two of my favorite drugstore foundations, but they're about the only two I really use just because my skin is so sensitive. So, um, yeah, I picked these up to try them out. I've heard really good things about both of them, so we'll see how that goes. I also got this cute little um, head wrap, so when I film, my hair's not everywhere, so yeah, just got that. Mm -hmm. um, I also picked up lots of Morphe brushes. Yeah, I picked up literally like six more brushes um, just because they get dirty easily like if I'm using color or if I want to use a neutral color I picked up two of um, the shader brushes um, I got the precision crease I heard Nikki tutorials rave about this so I was like I need to get this too so and then I picked up another blending brush the Morphe M433 another pencil brush, and another flat shader brush. This is always a really good brush to have to pack on colors, so picked up those brushes there. All right. Also got this free little sample with MAC purchases. Um, it's the Cleanse Off Oil, so again, free gifts from Ulta, free stuff. The next thing I picked up was this Kiddo Corn Magic. I don't know. I thought this was really cool. It's like a holographic nail kit. 
and I always see on Instagram, wherever it may be, Pinterest, these holographic nails like like this, like how the Anastasia packaging, and I want that on my nails, so I picked up this kit and maybe I can get it that way, so we'll see. Then I saw Elf has a glitter mask. Um, excuse me, and I feel like this, I think it was like $9, and if this is a dupe for the Glam Glow glitter mask, like, you know what, do, the, do those really do anything for your skin, like, honestly. Like, I have the Tin Man looking one, the purple one that's supposed to tighten, brighten, whatever your skin, and the glitter ones, I'm pretty sure, are just a different finish of that formulation. And, it, you know, it's just like an Instagram mask. So I'm like, oh, hey, if I can get that same thing for $9, you know, let me test it out. Let me see if that actually works. So, yeah, I picked that up. Um, okay, I also picked up this Flower Mir Miracle Glow Satin Finishing Powder to test that out from Flower Beauty. I don't know, I've just hearing, been hearing so many things about Flower Beauty that I really wanted to try a couple things out. I also picked up their full coverage concealer. So I'm gonna be doing probably a video on that, a wear test for the foundation and the concealer and try the powder out with it too. So stay tuned for that. Oh my goodness, we're almost done. We're getting there, we're getting there. Okay, so next I picked up, as I said, I've never really tried a lot of MAC. So now that Ulta carries MAC, I, you know, 20% off points, you know, sign me up. I want to try it. So I got two different colors in the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I'm a huge fan of Jaclyn Hill, and if you guys are familiar with her, like back in the day, she would use MAC all the time, and it just always looked so good. Like, I feel like MAC is such, you know, like it's a brand that's going to be around forever like it's just known for its artistry and colors and graphics like I don't know every they're just their pictures like always look so good and I'm just like I've really never tried any Mac so I want to try it out and she used to rave about the mineralized skin finish so I picked it up in two different colors so I got medium dark and medium so we'll see which one is my color all right I also picked up oh Another um, product that Jaclyn Hill always used to rave about was the MAC Giga Black Extended Play Mascara for her bottom lashes. So I'm super excited to try this out. This is a freaking tiny ass tube though. Like, oh my gosh. Like, here's a roller lash. Here's a MAC Giga Black. Like, is this a deluxe size? Like, this is tiny. But we'll try it. We'll see, Jaclyn. We'll see what you recommend. All right, then I picked up another LA Girl Pro Concealer. This looks a little too orange for me, actually. I was hoping it was going to be a lighter shade, but these are really nice concealer if you want to do cream contour, highlight, you know, chisel the nose out. Really good, cheap, affordable concealer. So I just picked up another color of this. I really do like this concealer. Then I picked up, I've never tried the Ofra Cosmetics Ulta now here is Ofra Cosmetics too. So I picked up the liquid lipstick in Ofra. And of course, after I get this, they just repackage. So I got the OG packaging. So maybe I'll, you know, I don't know, now it's a collectible. <laughs> but I picked up the shade Laguna. These are supposed to be really long wearing and super comfortable. Known for its hydration. Like they're supposed to be hydrating liquid lipsticks. So there's that color right there. It honestly looks kind of like something I have already, so we'll see about that, but I can't wait to actually try that out and see how it feels. Um, then I picked up this Anastasia Lip Gloss. Oh my gosh. Freaking love. The shade is so, oh, oh my god, it's so freaking pretty. Like, it's like a coral glitter gold. It is the shade Girly, and it is just that. Like, it it's so pretty like I can't wait to use this and they smell like cupcakes like I love their lip glosses oh, like vanilla frosting it smells so good and this one is glitter but if you want like a full pigment lip gloss Anastasia like they're really good I also picked up um one of their lipsticks and their new shum summer shades shades shimmer. and how cute is their packaging like the little gold on the bottom and the black I picked up the shade Petal. I thought all those colors were honestly really pretty, but I don't know, I just went with Petal. 
It's a really pretty, like, neutral pink. Really like that. These don't smell like anything. I'm a big smeller, okay? I've got a keen sense. <laughs> All right, and last but not least, I'm really excited for this right here. So the first place, the first place I heard about this was Casey Holmes talked about this and she was like, um, is this new or have I just been missing out or something? And this is the Makeup Revolution Highlighter Palette. It says Soap X on it. I'm assuming that's a collab. I don't really think that's like the name or whatever. But you guys, look how like crazy those look. Like they look like the sleek um, highlighting palette. Let me just swatch a couple for you. All right, where am I gonna like swatch this here? <laughs> Good job, Emily. Okay, here. Which one did I swatch it? Okay, like, can you see like how reflective? No, the camera is literally not even picking it up. Okay, let's try this again do this one and like right here okay the camera's not doing it justice but and I already put a highlighter on my cheek but this is really really nice and I think this was like $12 so I'm excited about that but yeah that is all I have for you so I hope you enjoyed this haul video I love haul videos I love watching what other people got <laughs> what other people are spending their money on so they can try it you know and tell me what they think so yeah that concludes this video thank you guys so much for watching and again if you like this I like go check out that Jeffree Star um, thirsty palette review and tutorial and please subscribe if you haven't already click that little red button it's somewhere here I really don't know which side it's on you know but I will see you next time Bye, guys.